Hi, I'm Dirk Miller. I'm with Rusted Root, and uh, here's my rig rundown. So what we got going on here is I go from the amp to the um, tremolo, which is just a Joyo. Nothing special there. It sounds good. I like it. I probably will replace that soon. But uh, it goes into an Ottawa Boss Ottawa, and then it goes into the DD5, which uh, I've had forever. Uh, I like it because there's a cool little loop function on it, and uh, it's a good sounding delay. Um, and I go out of that into the Pog 2, which uh, I use for a couple songs just to kind of give it an auto wall Pog sound, which is um, a little bit of like a Parliament type funk sound. Uh, I go out of here, the Pog, into the Flashback TC Electronics, which is another delay system. It's got three presets on it, so. Um, I can use multiple levels of delay. Into my Tim pedal, which is an overdrive pedal made by Paul Cochran. And uh, you might be familiar with the Tim pedal, which is a smaller version of this. Sounds great. Amazing clean boost. Um, the overdrive is extremely glassy. It's fantastic. And I go into the Rat, which should, right now I'm not really using the Rat too much for anything. Sometimes I'll use it for some slide stuff, but. I'm just leaving it there for right now. And then I go into the Morley Bad Horsey version 1 Steve Vai wah pedal, which I really like because there is no click noise switch as to sometimes you get on a Crybaby. So um, you can swell and kind of let it sit in there and take your foot off and, and it deactivates. So that's a really cool option for me at least. And then I have it going to tuner and then tuner to volume pedal, which I use for steel pedal style bends and things like that. So the, the pedal that really I utilize more than anything on this pedal board probably is, there's two pedals. It's the overdrive pedal, which I try to keep my sound pretty clean for this band uh, and use this as basically solos and then I can use the boost with it which just increases gain and, and things like that. So when I get the opportunity to play solos, this is really, I'm utilizing this. For atmospheric stuff, I use this. This is the second most important pedal on my pedal board. So those two are uh, are pretty essential to, to my tone and to my sound. So. so this here is a Homestead amplifier. It's called the HS50. It's made by Peter McMahon, who worked for Cesar Diaz, who's an amp tech for Stevie Ray Vaughan and um, everybody. Uh, Peter worked with Caesar for years and years, and uh, Caesar passed away. He kept the, the Diaz name going, and so he then started making homestead amplifiers. So um, this is 50 watts, and it's also actually, I can do half power on it. It's a half power switch. You got standby power. It's a one channel amplifier, but has two levels of, um, there's two gain stages here. So I have a master volume, and then I have a volume here. Um, reverb, bass, treble, uh, you have, also I have switches on here which is a, it's a treble boost, a bass cut, and uh, you have a volume boost on there too. So this comes with uh, two Celestion Vintage 30s and uh, it sounds amazing. These are two 10 inch speakers and um, Amazing sounding amp. If you play Les Paul, if you play a Strat, whatever, it sounds good through this thing. It really sounds like a 410 more than just a 210, uh, which gives it almost the feel of a, a super reverb or something like that. So, amazing sounding amp. Peter's an amazing guy. Uh, very high end stuff. And people that use this right now, Warren Haynes has used this model and a 100 watt head, and Jimmy Herring just is using them now. So, there's a lot of guys that are drop it on the bandwagon. This feather is uh, a hawk feather. We got it when we were in California. And uh, I have, uh, you know, an aff affection for winged animals and uh, it's kind of a totem spirit animal for me. So I keep it there, it's good luck. <laughs> I fan my sage with it too. So this is a guitar by a group of guys, well one guy's name's Chase and it's called Chasing Vintage Guitars. It's made out of Delaware, Ohio. And this guitar here is all maple. You can see the, uh, the nice flame on the back of the neck and uh, the top. It's pretty light. It's not too bad. It is chambered. 
Uh, I have two humbuckers here, and these humbuckers are also coil splitting, so I can split them and it gets a... I can go from a Les Paul to a Telecaster to a Strat sound on it. But uh, there's over 200 individual pieces that he used to make this guitar. He, this is actually maple around the pickups there. Everything on it is hand done. He built everything by hand. A majority of the time I'm in the bridge setting with, uh, with it down. I don't, I don't split it too often. If I do split, it'll be in the neck and then I'll split it that way. But majority of the time is going to be in the, uh, the bridge setting. Uh, so tuning is uh, basically E, standard E tuning. Um, the uh, string gauge I'm using here is 10s. Um, I did a lot of 10s, 12s, uh, 11s, uh, and went back to 10s just because I like kind of the slap of it. Uh, and it works well with different styles, a lot of different styles of music, country to what we do, which is kind of uh, world beatish and things like that. So it, it can gives me a good response with this guitar. So. This is just a standard, standard Strat, uh, noiseless pickups. There's not really anything special about it. Made in Mexico. Um, it sounds great, clean. I love it. It is really, it's, it's basically my backup. So if you see me playing it, it's because of that guitar broke a strip. <laughs> but uh, it sounds great. Like I said, uh, you want to play Chris Isaac on it. It sounds spot on. It's amazing. It's always good to have a Strat in your arsenal, that's for sure. And this is uh, D'Angelico. Uh, it is the, what is it? E-X-S-S. -S. Uh, so this is a semi-hollow, very light, which is really nice. Um, I have, I actually put a different pickup in here. Our old guitar tech, Aaron, put in a Seymour Duncan. And this, I'm pretty sure, is a Ken Armstrong, which comes stock with the models. They approached me at um, Mountain Jam, and uh, I played it backstage, and they said, if you play it, you know what I mean, we'll, we'll let you have it. So uh, I played it live, and I really like the way it sounds. The only thing with certain things, you got to watch a little bit of the feedback, but uh, it, it, it's easily manipulated. You can manipulate the feedback. It's not too much. But a great sounding guitar. Um, Three-way switch. So you got, you know two pickups, they're humbuckers. The floating uh, piece on there is really nice. It does definitely help with sustain. But the, uh, the Art Deco style, they kept pretty true to the original D'Angelico. So uh, it's not quite what the old ones were, but they are doing a pretty good job at uh, making the new stuff. So. Uh, thank you very much for uh, checking out my stuff. Um, I play with Rusted Root. Check out our website, our Facebook page. Uh, Hopefully we'll be coming to a city new year soon. Uh, we tour a lot, but um, yeah, thank you for, for everything. Appreciate it.